Welcome to Quick History Facts, where we explore the fascinating people and events that have shaped our world. Did you know that Queen Victoria had a half-sister, to whom she was rather close? Her name was Theodora, and she was 12 years older than Victoria. The two had been brought up together at Kensington Palace. Theodora was born in Bavaria in 1807. She was the only daughter of the Prince of Leiningen and his wife. Princess Victoria of Saxe-Coburg Solfeld, who later became known as the Duchess of Kent. When Theodora was only about seven years old, her father died. Her widowed mother was able to remarry. She remarried Prince Edward Augustus, the Duke of Kent, who was Victoria's father. When Theodora's mother fell pregnant, the family quickly relocated to England, solely for the purpose of the baby having a claim to the English throne. That baby, of course, was Victoria. Victoria and Theodora enjoyed a very close relationship. Victoria was devoted to her older sister and looked up to her as a role model, as any younger sister would. However, due to the restrictive and oppressive lifestyle at Kensington, Theodora was desperate to marry and move away. When Theodora married Prince Ernest in 1828 and left England for her new life, Victoria was really upset and missed her sister deeply. She wrote in her diary, for she used to come into my room very often in the day. And she used to sit in my room writing her letters, etc. And she was always so gay and cheerful. Theodora did come back for Queen Victoria's coronation in 1838. Theodora ended up having six children, three sons and three daughters, all of them surviving to adulthood. The sisters maintained a lifelong correspondence, and whenever Theodora could visit Britain, Victoria gave her an allowance of £300 a year, which is about £30,000 today. In 1860, Theodora's husband died, and the next year, Victoria's husband, Prince Albert, also passed away. They were able to bond and console each other in their mourning. Victoria invited Theodora to come back to England during this time but she always refused this. In 1872, her youngest daughter died of scarlet fever, and this affected her deeply. Theodora herself ended up passing away that same year. Victoria was deeply upset about her death. She wrote about it in her diary and said, My own darling, only sister, my dear excellent, noble Theodora, is no more. God's will be done, but the loss to me is too dreadful. I stand so alone now. No near and dear one, nearer my own age, or older, to whom I can look up to. The deep connection between Queen Victoria and Theodora undoubtedly trickled into her reign and impacted Britain as a whole. Her story reminds us of the importance of recognizing the often overlooked figures of history. If you like this type of content, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our coming videos. Thank you for watching.